This is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire, Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. On the 26th of August 2020, a 19-year-old man was walking along the Greenway in Uxbridge at around 10.30pm. A crossbow bolt sliced through his ear as it passed his head before striking a parked car travelled across the street and narrowly missed seriously injuring or killing the victim. In the initial confusion, the occupant of the car that was shot got out the car thinking that the victim was the person that had fired it, but upon realising he was injured, he took him to hospital. Fortunately, the victim's injuries were not life-threatening, but if the bolt was a matter of millimetres to the left, it would have been fatal. In the second incident on the 14th of September 2020, at 8pm, a 33-year-old man was walking in Piled Heath Road when without warning he was shot in the torso with a crossbow bolt from a distance of 6 feet away. He suffered a ruptured artery and punctured his internal organs and he lost 5 litres of blood but luckily he survived. The attack took place close to a hospital and the victim's life was undoubtedly saved by the expertise and skill of the medical staff who were in close proximity. A medical expert said that he would have died if he wasn't so close. The police had already launched an investigation into the first shooting when the second one occurred and this made the police increase the investigation force in order to try to find the person responsible. The witnesses didn't see the suspect but they described seeing a white van without a registration number making its way from the scene in both instances. Forensic CCTV examination was undertaken and they covered a large geographical area and eventually detectives pinpointed an area where the vehicle appeared to have vanished. The police in the investigation concentrated their efforts on a similar vehicle that appeared a few minutes later on the same route but it had a different registration number. The police then worked to try to establish who was the driver of this vehicle and they found that it was registered to a delivery company and a man called Andrew Radim, 30 years old from Northwood, was the person that was driving the vehicle at the time. He made an effort to try to disguise his tracks by removing the license plate during both incidents. He failed to notice that the vehicle he was using had a tracking device fitted by the employer that put him in the location at the time of both incidents. A police operation was conducted and Ramdeen was arrested by armed officers. He was driving a vehicle on the 21st of September 2020 when he was arrested. A search of his home address was conducted and police found a crossbow that was from Anglo Arms and it was a Panther 175 pound hunting crossbow. The bolts that were found at the scene also matched bolts from that crossbow and the police showed Ramdeen entering his address with the crossbow. He was charged immediately and remanded in custody. The motivation strangely behind the attacks was never established and the people that were shot were believed to be innocent victims. The Metropolitan Police conducted an investigation and they did computer modelling for the courtroom of both scenes. The first victim was shot from a distance of 146 feet while the second was shot from 6 feet away. Detective Inspector Daniel McKinney said it's no exaggeration to say that both of these people are lucky to be alive and they survived by a matter of millimetres. If the variation of the bolts had been ever so slightly different, two sets of families would have lost a loved one and would have been looking at two murder investigations. The work of the investigative team, they said in the police statement, was to bring Ramdeen to justice and it was a painstaking investigation with a lot of mobile forensics, computer and also CCTV. Andrew Ramdeen pled guilty to two counts of Section 18 GBH at Oldsworth Crown Court. He was sentenced at a virtual hearing at the same court on Friday the 27th of January 2022. He was given a Section 37 hospital order and Section 41 restriction order, meaning that a Home Office panel would have to agree to change his detention. The judge remarked that Andrew was very dangerous and he said if the hospital order had not been a disposal option, he would have passed sentence of 14 years and also nine years as well, four of which would have been served on licence. So I thought this is a very interesting story and also bizarre as well because sometimes there is no motive that anybody knows of as well and sometimes it's just literally what somebody wanted to do and this is the sad reality that we have to accept sometimes. That there is good, there is evil. case to shoot random people for what seems like no reason it would definitely make you think that he was potentially a cold-blooded killer. 
So really appreciate you joining me for this story. I really want to hear what people have to say. Thank you to everybody that has supported the channel and please don't forget to follow me online at Scar City Studios on Instagram, TikTok, Twitter and Facebook. And I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.